Minecraft update aquatic bedrock beta is out now. We got 1.5.0.1, including working conduit beacons. Hey there guys, Skippy here for Room Skippy 6 Gaming. Guys, coming to you from a random world because you should never open up important world in the beta. So uh, we have a new beta that came out today. Uh, it includes a bunch of stuff, including kind of uh, ruins and the way they operate with, uh, with the mobs and a few kind of little new features. So what we're going to do is go over the changelog as per usual. This is a random bonus three video day on a Wednesday. Oh, wowie zowie. So for this one here, let's go for uh, 346 likes. If you're one of those dudes, don't forget to hit me up. I don't know what the seed is, guys. I know it's pretty dope, but uh, yeah, I don't know. So uh, let's throw it up on the screen, guys. We got the first uh, bit of the changelog. I'm just going to throw this one up. This is more of a decoration uh, Minecraft beta 1.5.0.1. Uh, this is uh, Wednesday night, if I'm correct, and it says it will be coming out over the next several hours. However, I'm in uh, Canada, and I got it within you know 20 minutes of me seeing... Uh, that tweet so i think you probably have it too let's go on to the main uh the meat of it the meat of it is new features conduits can now be constructed of underwater and give players the conduit power effect uh changes slight decrease slightly decreased the friction of blue ice so if you ask me that means blue ice you're gonna go faster now i think because i know on pc it's super duper duper fast um and let's go through to the next one's just the bug fixes we are gonna go over them though because they are uh, kind of big lately fix several crashes that occurred yeah hey bug fix number one bone meal can no, no longer be used too quickly uh blocks can no longer be placed underwater without highlighting another block while sprint swimming is in creative mode holy cow i don't know what that is uh players can no longer breathe underwater by swimming swimming into ice blocks the breath meter will no longer decrease when the player is visually above the water the breath meter is no longer refilled after quitting and loading back into the world dolphins can no longer be fed fish immediately after they have already been fed uh, fences once again can be placed on leaves and in certain other blocks uh, fixed water not rendering when swimming against the bottom of a block seagrass obtained by commands is now functional and stackable i will put a link to this in the description below guys uh, if you want to read the whole thing slowly and uh, yeah changes to a world's name when initially created from a template will now update properly after saving and quitting all buttons will now display properly in the hotbar when placed in an item frame the lead attach point no longer appears in front of the player when swimming items will no longer get stuck in flowing water source blocks zombies that have transformed into husks no longer have super speed on land that would be super bad uh, movement speed still will stay con constant after turning while sprinting flying in creative mode i noticed a few challenges with creative mode movements uh, in this beta flying speed now stays consistent when descending mobs once again no longer spawn on carpet yes that would have been bad broke a lot of farms Baby animals will no longer take damage in boats. Fix the marker on treasure maps disappearing when another player quits and rejoins. Tridents can no longer be destroyed by explosions. Tridents thrown into soul sand now land properly and no longer prevent loyalty from working. Tridents thrown underwater will no longer produce infinite bubbles. Oh no, the sign in button will now disappear from the main menu after signing in. Using the spread players command will no longer set entities or players at 255. So uh, there's a quick kind of mouthful of bug fixes, but here we are, and what does that mean to us? So uh, I do have a ruin, so long story short, I think the big uh, the big gist of this one is that we're now going to have uh, the, the, the drowned carrying, possibly carrying, I don't think all of them will be, but from what I gather, out of ruins, these guys will be carrying Nautilus shells, and you'll be able to uh, take these Nautilus shells from them, and mixed with the heart of the sea, we're going to be able to make conduit beacons. So I did a video about this already. Um, we kind of, I think a lot of YouTubers probably went over to uh, PC and showed off some of the stuff, but as you can see, I have that, I have this effect. So basically, the drowned will now have these Nautilus shells. You take these Nautilus shells, you put them in a crafting table just like this. Once they're like this, you put the heart of the sea in the middle, bang, bing, bong, you make one of these. A conduit beacon. So uh, there's little known about this conduit beacon. People have figured out some stuff, but you can see one effect majorly right away is as soon as I go near it, you're going to see that I pick up the conduit effect. Uh, the only one that's totally visible is that you literally can see through water beautifully. You can't go too far away from it. And I believe once you're out of water, it affects it somehow. 
you can't like the distance is very close so if you want this distance so basically the way the conduit beacon works is it has to be covered by prismarine so at some point in time see how there's not enough prismarine in a circle it's kind of like an enchanting table uh, but with this guy and then if there is bang it'll still work and uh, you get the effects so there's several effects we think you swim faster maybe underwater mining happens a lot faster uh, there's a few in there but no effects are shown here for us to actually see the direct effects that said i know that if you were to put more prismarine around it than it has they would go farther away so pretty much it's almost like a beacon in that sense too is that if there's enough prismarine around this guy those effects will make a farther distance and uh you should be better going you know a little bit away from it without losing the stuff and there you go so on that one too i think i just wanted to check um this was the first ruins I located. It looks really cool, a lot of this stuff here. Let's just go check this blue ice thing. We know we got some time. We're just going to go on the sand over here and uh, check out the blue ice because I didn't really mess with it the first time. But basically what they're saying is literally they're saying that they've made it, uh, they've, made le they've made less friction, which means faster. Uh, so I think if I just type blue here, you think blue is a thing? Blue, there it is right there. So let's get this blue ice, and then let's just uh, let's just make a straight line. It's pretty good. We're you know six minute update video change log. I'm super stoked to see this. I'm waiting. I think everybody's waiting for more uh, coral. Everybody's waiting for the coral, the coral and the shipwrecks more so. But bang, I don't know. It doesn't feel too lightning fast. I mean, it does. It does take you somewhere. You know, like. But I don't think it's that crazy. Either way, guys, don't forget to smash the like before you go. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for tuning in, and I will catch you on the next one.